You created an awesome title using the title of Pro, but you can't figure out how it can only last three seconds and disappear. Instead, it's playing the entire length of the clip. Stay tuned and I will show you a few ways how you can solve this problem. Right, let's do this. Now stick around to the very end. I'm going to show you something pretty cool about Title Studio. So let's drag in any clip and I will put that onto my timeline. It's an image or a video. It really doesn't matter. Drag it out to whatever length it is, 20 seconds, and then apply the the title effect filter, which is the new blue Title Pro 5. Now, if you're a beginner, I suggest doing it this way. Let's say you want your intro or your title to be only five seconds. Grab your current time indicator, drag it to the five second mark, press S on your keyboard, and only drag the Title Pro into this clip here. So I was, I would drag it in here. Let's highlight that first, I guess. Hello, wake up. There you go. Sometimes it's just a bit slow like me. All right, so now what you've done, you've only applied it to this clip, so logic dictates that it will only last exactly five seconds. Now, if you're beginning and you just want to get on with it, you're done. Thanks for watching. So obviously there are more things that I could teach you. There's another option, which is also kind of cool. You can create your own green image first. So you can quickly see where this is heading. Apply the title to that. Now what this allows you to do, you can also then have the option of changing the duration at any time you want. So you don't have to, if you split the clip, then you have a problem because you're, oh, I actually want it longer. And it does the exact same thing. The only difference now is once you've applied it, you go double click and go to chroma key because again, it's a green screen. And bingo, it's back. Now also use the blend mode and then jack up the gamma to 100. And this will give you back your sharp resolution. So that is the second way. Now I will show you the professional way or how it should be done. Let's drag this onto our timeline or our, onto our clip. Double click, customs filter. We launched the, we launched the interface. Now here's the problem. Our title is just three seconds, but the non-linear editing software is 20 seconds. So what this clip is doing is actually reading of the linear editing software, not of the actual program. And the reason is there is an endpoint here. Very simple, right click, delete fixed region. Now this will go to the three second clip. Let's get out of this. Keep it, yes, save it to the project, yes. Now watch, I'm gonna press play. And then within three seconds, this title will disappear. One, two, and three. So there you go. This is much more professional because if you do want to change things like attributes or the length, it's a simpler way to do it than trying to do a, a butchered job regarding this. Right, now I did promise you something that I can show you. I'm gonna go completely out of Video Studio and I'm gonna drag in and show you something that's pretty cool. In actuality, the Title Pro is a standalone program, and this is why you can't just check a green arrow and have it launch. You have to actually exit the program, save it, blah, blah, blah. If you go into, say, the Documents New Blue Title Pro, you'll see a little icon here. If you double click on that, you will then launch the standalone version of Title Pro. And that means any project that you do in here, you can save it and then take that into any video editing software that you have. So that's a pretty cool trick, right? Yep. And as always, thanks for watching.